similar to their deaths as India and China's troops fought with rocks. India is shocked by Himalayan border clash in which unarmed troops fought in the dark. The hand-to-hand -hand combat lasted hours on steep jab terrain with iron bars, rocks and fists. India has reacted with a shock and caution to the loss of at least 20 soldiers on its disputed border with China. In his first public comments on the dispute, Prime Minister Narendra Modi led a two-minute silence for the killed soldiers and said India would defend every stone, every inch of its territory. I would like to assure the nation that the sacrifice of our troops will not be in vain, said Prime Minister, speaking at a televised meeting of India's chief ministers. For us, the unity and sovereignty of the country is the most important. The killings were sparked when a patrol of Indian soldiers encountered Chinese troops in a steep section of the mountainous region. They believed the People's Liberation Army, PLA, had retreated from. In line with a 6 June disengagement agreement, sources in Delhi said, the Indian government have alleged that what followed was a premeditated ambush on their troops by PLA forces. But then an Indian commanding officer was pushed from the narrow ridge and fell to his death in the gorge below. Reinforcements from the Indian side were summoned from a post about two miles away and eventually about 600 men were fighting with stones, iron rods and other makeshift weapons in near total darkness for up to six hours. Chinese CCTVs widely watched. Evening TV news broadcasts made no mention of the border confrontation on Tuesday. India accused the Chinese troops of violating the disengagement agreement and carrying out a premeditated and planned action against Indian troops that was directly responsible for the resulting violence and casualties. Wang Yi claimed India was solely responsible for the conflict, saying its sources had on three occasions illegally crossed over into China's side of the LAC and demanded Indian, Indians punish their forces responsibly. Beijing has refused to confirm any deaths on its side. However, the editor-in-chief of the state-run The Global Times said he understood there had been Chinese casualties, but the PLA wanted to avoid stoking public mood by, prevent by comparing numbers. So 